Hey guys, Yvonne here at YvonneManna.com. In this video, I want to show you how to prevent click fraud on Google Ads, which is a very common question I've been getting recently. And it is a very good question because apparently studies show that about 50% of all clicks coming into your site are bots. And that is horrible, guys. You guys are paying for these bot clicks that really have no prospect and no chance of converting. Uh, now, Google says that they do a good job of kind of getting rid of these bots, but they really don't. They don't do a good enough job of getting rid of as many as you would like, and you still end up paying a lot. And so in this video, I want to show you how to prevent that. Uh, but in addition to bot clicks, there are other clicks which are a little harder to detect by Google, for example. Uh, and that is competitors. So competitors are smart. You know, they're not going to keep clicking the same link 20 times and, and in one second, they're going to get different people uh, from different departments, from, from different areas clicking on your links so that uh, your ad spend goes up and ultimately you remove the ads because they're not profitable, right? So you get these malicious intent people clicking on your ads that are harder to detect than just bots, even though some bots are, are also very hard to detect. Uh, but then you also have innocent people, people that, for example, they save your ad as sort of a bookmark. So for example, some people, if they want to go to ClickFunnels, you know, they don't type in ClickFunnels.com. They're going to type in ClickFunnels here in Google, and they're just going to click on the very first link that shows up right here, right? Because it's the easiest. Uh, and this is an ad. So if you are running an ad like this, for, for example, ClickFunnels, guess what? You're going to pay for this for a repeat user that uh, already has ClickFunnels, but that just wants to go there to log in. So how do you prevent this? And that is exactly what I'm going to show you here in this video step by step. Now, before we get into it, guys, make sure to hit like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell icon so you get notified when I release more videos like this to help you make money online and or help you save money online, such as by preventing click fraud. So Let's get straight into it. Um, before we do, you do need two things, guys. So you do need a landing page builder. In my case, I use Unbounce because you do have to create kind of this exclusion page, a page that says, for example, sorry, our offer is closed. So you do have to create some page uh, to which you will be taking people who uh, you don't want clicking on your ad. So for example, bots, competitors, you know, all those, uh, you do have to create a page Something like this, you know, you can make it whatever you want, but you do need a landing page builder. The second thing you need is a software that can help you prevent click fraud. So in my case, I am using Click Magic. Now, do you have to use Unbounce and Click Magic? No, you can use whatever you want to, but I have been using Unbounce for a few years now. I have been using Click Magic for five years now, uh, and these are the tools that I suggest that I'm very comfortable with. So if you want to follow along with me, I will leave the links to these tools in the description. You get some special deals. Or if you go to go.evonmana.com slash clickmagic, you should get um, the link to a clickmagic free trial. And if you go to go.evonmana.com slash unbounce, you will get a link to an unbounce 14-day free trial and 20% off on your first three months or a year. So an offer you really can't get just by going to unbounce.com, okay? Uh, but once you get these two tools, we are ready to begin. So the very first thing we're going to do is create a page that looks like this. Okay, so this is step one. In this case, I have a little button, you know, for just in case somebody lands here by accident. Like it, it, if it is a legitimate user, they, they have the option to click here. Uh, but generally, we will be sending our bots here. Okay, and this whole process is automated. It's, it's super awesome. With ClickMagic, it's completely automated. We're going to set it up once and it's just going to be running forever automatically. Now, the next thing we have to do is add a Google ads tag to this page. And this is so that we can create an audience out of it. Okay. So this is important. So step two is let's head over into our Google ads account. We're going to click on tools and settings. We're going to click on audience manager because we will end up creating a list. We're going to click on audience sources and whatever you guys are using. I know some of you guys are using uh, Google Tag Manager. Some of you guys are using Google Analytics. Whatever you're using is fine, but you have to make sure that you add the tag to this page. So in our case, let's imagine we're not using anything. You can use the Google Ads tag. So you're going to see an option just like this somewhere here on your page. If you don't have anything, we're going to click on details and you're going to scroll to the bottom. And over here, it says tag setup and instruction code. So we're going to grab this code and we're just going to paste it in the head section of this page. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and copy it. We're going to copy. 
We're going to go back to this page, go to JavaScript. We're going to add new JavaScript and we're just going to paste it here. If you're not using Unbounce, then whatever page builder you're using, whether it's WordPress, ClickFunnels, you know, lead pages, uh, leadpages.com, leadpages.net, whatever it is, you, you want to add this code in that head section. Okay. And then we want to say, let's say Google remarketing code. Now, if you already have a Google ads tracking code, like a conversion code, you don't have to add anything here. So you can just keep the tracking code. I already have a Google ads tracking code here. So generally I wouldn't have to add anything, but for the purpose of an example, I just wanted to show you how to do this. Once it is, we're going to click done. We're going to click save. We're going to click republish and just make sure everything is saved and live. That's the main thing. So perfect. Everything is live now and we should have the code on this page. So now we're ready to create an audience in Google ads. So this is step three. We are going to create an exclusion audience. Okay. So what you're going to do is go to audience lists. Again, you're going to click on tools, audience manager, audience lists. And now we're going to create a list out of people visiting this page. And then what we're going to do is use this list on our campaign as an exclusion audience. Okay. And then I'm going to show you, you know, how this all works once, once we're done, but we're going to come back here. We're going to click the little plus sign. We're going to say website visitors. And for the audience name, we can say anything. We can say uh, exclusion list, for example, let's say synergy Spanish. We're going to leave it at visitors of a page. We're going to say match any rule group page URL contains. We're going to copy this whole thing. We're going to copy it. We're going to paste it here. Now you don't have to paste absolutely everything. So for example, over here, you don't have to add this HTTP uh, just to be safe. It's better if you don't. So just leave this because as long as the page contains this, which it should, if you're taking people to this page and obviously your page should look much nicer, you know, this is just a test. So that's why it looks kind of ugly. Uh, but in your case, you're going to have like a, like a real custom domain, hopefully. So it's going to look a little nicer than this. You just have to add this part, just the root of it. So just your website.com slash whatever the path is. Okay. That's all you got to do. And then once you're done, you're going to click on create audience. You don't have to add uh, change anything else. The only thing maybe you can add is over here, the membership duration. Like how long do you want to keep it here? Because maybe you might have somebody, you know, repeatedly clicking on your link by accident or something like that. And you kind of want to give them a second chance after a certain number of days. You can do that here. Or you can just say, you know what? No, whoever doesn't meet my rules, which we're going to set, we are just going to keep you on this list for a year and a half. So for the longest time possible, we're going to keep you on this list because we don't want you visiting our page ever again, basically. So you can do that. You know, a year and a half is more than enough time and we can click on create audience. And now this is going to be populating. So you do have to give it some time. You might not see a number right away, but what we have to do now is once we create the audience step, uh, step four is we have to go to our campaign. Let's imagine it's this campaign. We're going to select the campaign. We're going to go into audiences. We're going to go into exclusions and we're going to add this list as an exclusion. So I already have one here. Let me go ahead and remove this. Uh, let's imagine you don't have anything. So we're going to click on plus and we're going to find our list. Now it might be over here. And if it's not, then you're going to go into browse, go into remarketing, go into website visitors. And here's our exclusion list. Okay. And we're just going to hit save. And so now anybody that gets added to this list will no longer see this ad. That's the goal. They're not, not going to be able to see this ad anymore. Now the list is too small. It's still being populated. And yes, you know, we have zero people here, but over time it's going to slowly start growing. Okay. And eventually you're going to drastically reduce the amount of these bots and competitors and, um, you know, just innocent people that, that just use your ad as a bookmark from clicking on your ads. So that is step four. We're pretty much done here with the Google ads and the landing page part. Now, step five, which is actually what you do in this software that allows you to set up this click fraud protection. You have to actually set the rules now. Okay. So you have to say, for example, you don't want more than two clicks every hour or whatever it is you want. Okay. So we're going to click on campaigns here with click magic. I will link a video in the description. Again, take a look at how to set up click magic campaigns. Uh, but you should be able to create a project like this, like I have here for, you know, this unbounced pages uh, pretty quickly. And so once you do that, you're going to click on tools. So you're going to first select your website, which in our case is unboundspages.com. We're going to click on tools. We're going to click on click shield rules. And now this is where we're going to set up our rules. So the first thing we're going to do is let's go ahead and quickly, we're going to copy this. 
we're going to paste our exclusion URL here, okay? And then we're gonna set a rule. So let's suppose we don't want, um, let's say we can only allow two clicks every, let's say 12 hours. So if we have somebody clicking three times in 12 hours, they will be added to our exclusion list. So what's gonna happen is, if somebody clicks a third time in 12 hours, they will go to this page. And if they go to this page, they're gonna be added to the Google Ads audience. And if they get added to the Google Ads audience, they will also be added to this excluded audience for this campaign, thus no longer being able to see your ad. So you would be able to identify that they're either a bot or a, or a malicious user by these rules, okay? So you can set whatever rules you want, whatever makes sense for your business, this is up to you, but you can set several rules. So you don't only have to set up one. So let's suppose we're gonna add this one. So we allow two clicks every 12 hours. Let's add one more rule. Let's say uh, we're gonna paste the URL here again. Let's say we only allow one click every, let's say 30 minutes, okay? So if somebody clicks two times in 30 minutes, they're gonna see this page. And if they see this page, again, they're gonna be added to the exclusion list, and then they will no longer see our ad, okay? So we're gonna add a new rule. And once you do that, that is basically it, guys, that is it. So you have now successfully set up your click fraud protection rules. So let me quickly walk you over what this is all actually going to look like, okay? So we set up these rules, we set up our landing page, so let's suppose you have somebody, a bot or a, or a real malicious or innocent user uh, who clicks two times in 30 minutes, okay? Now this might be too strict, this might be too lenient. Again, I don't know what your business model is. Uh, you know, you can always change it, you can delete the rules, you can add new rules, whatever you wanna do. But let's suppose some person or a bot clicks two times on your ad in a 30 minute period. Let's suppose they do that. If they do that, what they're gonna do is th th on the second click, they're gonna be redirected to your exclusion page, which you specified here, which is here. Now we set up a tag on this page. So this tag is what's gonna allow this page to communicate with Google. And whoever visits this page will be added to this exclusion audience list, which we created here. This is a list, you know, this is an audience list. Like you could create a list for people who converted or people who didn't convert or whatever. So they're going to be added here to this list. It's still populating. Once they get added to this list, we set up this list already. We set it up over here to be an exclusion. So whoever gets added to this list will automatically be excluded from seeing this campaign. And so this process can go on and on and on forever. So you don't have to do a single thing anymore. All of this is automatic. Anybody that visits this page that you set up based on the rules will no longer be eligible to see your campaign. And that is how you help prevent click fraud. All these bots, all these competitors, all these innocent people that just bookmark your ads will no longer see your ad. Now, another really cool thing I like about this is that some uh, software programs, they have the system based on IP. So instead of, for example, creating an audience, what they're gonna do is they're gonna compile a list of IP addresses. But the issue with that is, is that Google only allows 50 IPs to be excluded at one time. So if you have more than that, you would have to delete some and put in the others and thus, you know, letting people or bots that sign up at the very beginning and that are, you know, fraudulently clicking on your ads, uh, they're gonna have access again. So that's why I don't like this IP approach. So this approach is much better because you can have way more than 50 people in your audience list, right? So this is gonna be your bucket in which you're gonna collect all these people that don't satisfy the rules, again, people or bots. And that is how you would prevent click fraud. So if you guys found this video helpful, let me know if you want a similar video on how to prevent click fraud with Microsoft ads and Facebook ads. Let me know in the comments which one you want next. And depending on demand, I will create a video on that as well. Also, guys, if you haven't checked out my free affiliate marketing guide, definitely take a look at evonmana.com. Free 55-page affiliate marketing guide teaches you everything about affiliate marketing and how to start making money today. All right, so that is it for this video. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one.